You don't have the luxury of don't have the luxury of being able to refuse of being able to refuse refuse. Ma. Ma. Yo, yo, easy. <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready, my friend? Absolutely. These? These. And these? Any others? Oh, let's not overdo it. Shall we go for sixes? Mm, yeah, baby. Yes! <laughs> Going on? Of course. Am I being crazy? No way. We'll see. Whoa. Oh, great. All or nothing? All or nothing. We're going to take his last cent. Yeah, sure. Oh no! Oh God! It was all I had, and that was alone. Good night, baby. See you tomorrow. Only there won't be a tomorrow. That's all we're like. She stuck to me like a leech all night while I was winning. But when you lose, you lose everything. Give me a double bourbon. Right away, sir. <sighs> Cheers. Freaking luck. I wanted to win and chuck his money in his damn face. <laughs> to think he thought I wouldn't give him his money back. Well, he was probably right. Come with me. It's been a long time, hasn't it, Nico? You! I should have realized. Let's forget about the past. My sister wasn't for you.
I don't care what you think of me. And Anita, I'm leaving. As you may have realized, you're not going anywhere. Okay, say what you have to, and be quick about it. Not that anything will surprise me anymore. Your debts will be wiped out. And what do you know about my debts? I know because I've taken them on. I've got them. You owe me now, and I'm letting you off. Okay. You have two documents with my names on them. So what? Nothing. We'll just work together. Look, this wasn't exactly what my heart desired at this moment. All the same, I'll listen to what you have to say. But be careful. If I don't like it, I'll leave. I want you to go on a trip for me and find somebody I'm having difficulty locating, but who I need very much. You know very well the only thing I do for you is spit on you. You forced Anita to marry that idiot so as to merge your companies. Let me tell you something. When he was hit by terrorists and your little sister was the only beneficiary of your great company, it occurred to me you'd done it. Why did you do it? Because Anita wanted to leave him and you'd lose your filthy money. I won't do anything for you. Anyway, I promised myself that a long time ago. So, forget it. It saddens me that you don't remember our old friendship at all, and that you think of me only capable of harm. I won't answer your absurd accusations because you aren't worth it. I don't think that you have any other choice. I believe that a clever man like you can really understand that. Forget it. First, I have no intention of helping a bastard like you. Second, the more you squirm, the happier I am. And thirdly, I don't like you. So, I won't do anything for you. First of all, the bastard you're talking about holds all of your debt and is ready to send you to prison. So watch your mouth. Second, I'm sorry to disappoint you, but I'm not interested in your delicate feelings about me. Third, you'll be informed about your trip by fax at your office. In short, my friends, you do not have the luxury of refusing. My friends in the Financial Crimes Prosecutor's Office are ready to welcome you. Okay, you win for now. Just one last question. Why me? Because no matter how much I dislike you, you're the best there is. You've got me, as always. I'll do it, but those papers will be destroyed afterwards. Of course. Rubbish. I don't need it. A kitchen for cooking. A kitchen for cooking. Not that I cook, but it's a necessity. Hey! My grandmother's coffee pot! Lucky me. A kitchen for cooking. This cupboard has been stuck since I broke the handle by accident.
rubbish. I don't know. The rubbish has piled up again. It needs a good tidying up in here. My fish babies, particularly brave for living with me. Ah, they need throwing out. Unless Nyonyos could eat them. I may not have read all my books, but I like looking at them. My grandmother's coffee pot, my diary, a vid phone card, multipa, the vitamins for the plant, at last I found them, Greek coffee, the best. I used to play tennis once. Ah, my bomb lighter, a gift from my Anita. It describes our relationship, she said. My fish babies. Particularly brave for living with me. Ah, they need throwing out. Unless Nyonyos could eat them. Shall I wear it? Mm, better not. It reminds me of too much. Shall I wear it? Mm, better not. It reminds me of too much. Facts. Well done, mate. Back to business then. Hey, what do we have here? Has Thanos remembered us? Ah, Becca's telephone number. Nyonyos, a thinking plant, a byproduct of an experiment at university. I love him very much because I created him at the height of my intelligence. He'll eat anything. All the same, as befits serious people. All the same, as befits serious people. My friend Thanos could have told me more. There's no way he hasn't discovered something nasty. Hmm, maybe he can't tell me. And I can't oblige him to give me details that are perhaps confidential. But I can always borrow these details from his PC. Okay, now for some hacking. Let's see how rusty I am.
Anita, baby, instead of telling me you regret dumping me, why do you ask me to look after your brother, as if I didn't know? But why is she writing to me now? I knew I could smell a rat. Nick, don't ever forget me. Ah, Anita, why do you have to have such a scumbag for a brother? Locked. 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 Sano, it's been ages. You're late. How come? You look as if you've been run over by a train. Well, it's a long story. I'll tell you someday. Now tell me, what do you want me for? Let's move on. I'll explain. Yesterday, a notorious but unremarkable thief called Mikes was found dead. You know, the one with a wart on his chin? Mm hmm. We mm -hmm. also used him as a grass. They found him behind the Ephestos bar, where all the stars go. The strange thing is that Mikes hadn't been causing us any trouble lately. But he must have been up to something, because he was always just to the nines and buying drinks. What did the autopsy show? Was he on drugs? I haven't had the results yet. I get them tomorrow. So if you want, call me. The first indication so that he died of suffocation. The only thing that was found on him was a packet of Kefalgon. You know, the headache pills? Mm -hmm. They sell them everywhere. Looks like you've got a serious case on your hands. Right, I'm off for a bit of shut eye because I feel terrible. Hey, come on. I need your help. Why is everyone so keen on making my life a misery today? Thano, the time's not right. I'm skint, and my state of mind is mirrored in my face. Let's leave it for another time. You don't understand. I'm offering you a job. What? The pains? Of course. I'm all ears. But why do you want to hire me and not use one of your boys in the department? Stop fishing for compliments. You know bloody well all my detectives are known on the street, whereas you can work undercover alone for the whole investigation as always. I've heard that somewhere before. Well, to cut a long story short, I believe we're dealing with a murder. Ah, uh, that infallible police instinct. As you know, there is competition between the Mendex and Hapacom pharmaceutical industries. Mm -hmm. I reckon that it has something to do with them. Your investigations are sure to lead you in that direction. Nick, with your knowledge, you may uncover something. Officially, Stelios Kapas is in charge of the case. You know the tight house? But you'll have nothing to do with him. Why not? After all, we're and buddies. Kapas is very ambitious, and if anything goes wrong, he'll have it in for me. You report to me, and no one else. And if anything happens, I don't even know you. This cassette will self-destruct in five seconds. Anyway, what do I get from this episode of Mission Impossible? 3,000 credits. A thousand... in advance. A thousand?
thousand credits? I'd do an Egyptian belly dance for that kind of money. Oh, yeah? Go for it. Hmm, <laughs> very funny. <laughs> well, I've got to go. Call me if you have any news. A thousand credits? Not in my wildest dreams. Oh, what's this? Ah, Julia, what this woman seeing you then? I don't want to go and marry you. Must have fallen out of his wallet. photo of the respected Mrs. Julia Pecker. Behind the photographs, Thanos has written the date of his marriage to Julia so that he wouldn't forget. <laughs> An important number. Ah, the time has come to pay my debts. Okay. Locked. 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 
blocked. They must lead further in, but I don't have the code to open them. Ether, it can wake the dead. My God, it's huge. That's it. Ready, guys.
Yeah, nice bar. And there's my favorite group, Blues Wire. Yeah! Hey, Bomba. Hi, fellas. Hey, friend. Hey, guys, any CDs of yours hanging around that I could have? We don't have one. We ran out of CDs. Years ago. Thanks, anyway. Hello, bloody Mary. Hi there, Nick. You're here early. We haven't opened yet. Or maybe you're broke again and want to test my generosity. You break my heart when you say things like that. What do you want then? Give me one of your best Belgian beers. Your money first. Yeah, I know I've left a few unpaid bills here and there, but nothing to write home about. But today, I've got the money. Well, they were quite hefty bills. Today, though, you're all right. Cheers. <sighs> Can I ask you just two things? I suppose so. Oh yes, I remember him. Colorless type with colorful friends. He was going around with a rather chasing after a skirt called Rania Dendrinu, a lawyer who released every drug smuggler from prison. He's always on about the license. Give me a break. Who's the chick? I don't speak foreign languages. I don't know the guy. Is he at least good looking? Mmm. The bastard pays shit. I don't speak foreign. I don't speak foreign. Good for a headache, would you like one? Always tight ass and never leaves a tip. I don't speak foreign languages.
Hi, fellas. Hey, friend. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. This is a request from a dying man. I'm going to die in six months. The only thing I'm asking for is your autograph. It's been my life. Give him something, just to shut him up. Huh. Here it is. Oh, thanks a lot. This is like a dream come true. God bless you guys. Bye. Mm. Yes, I've achieved the goal of my life. HFG's Prime Minister highlighting the necessity of the Earth's incorporation in RGA and his decision that our planet must fulfill the incorporation's criteria in a decade announced extra cuts in the budget's rates which are available for defense. This will be used in research for the protection of the environment and health services and dealing with unemployment which has, re which has reached an alarming level. Although the Prime Minister Ho He Peace is facing the reaction of the government's conservatives against these measures, and particularly from the Federal Secretary of Defense Milos Hansen, along with the Senate's groups, he is determined to enforce his policies. And now, on to another subject. Tiff, politics. Not a word about football. Anyway, let's look at this murder. While I'm waiting for news about Agirio's mission, let's see what I've got on my computer. Tomorrow, when I wake up, if I do, of course, I've got to call Thanos. <gasps> oh, bloody hell, I need some coffee, something terrible. Chewing gum. A good combination of colors. An advertisement for coffee's ready. Just like Granny made it. Steaming and aromatic. What a poet. Okay. Morning, Thanos. It's Nick. Oh, morning, Nick. For you to call me at 11 o'clock in the morning, dawn for you, you must be very interested in our last conversation. So tell me, what do you want? I've got some things to ask you. Okay, I'm listening.
I told you yesterday. I day. Ah yes. I have the autopsy results here. Autopsy results here. Here. The famous the famous cocktail of drugs. The famous cocktail of drugs which was found in his blood doesn't actually cause doesn't actually cause death. The only thing that was found in high levels was the G high levels was the G53 